The TikToker who refuses to shower is truly hitting rock bottom. As we previously witnessed, the pheromone Max's tongue was beginning to peel. However, it now turns out that his scalp is starting to decay. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I was about to film an SS Sniper Wolf video. If you still want to see that, let me know in the comment section. But I was about to do that until I was bombarded with several comments asking me to do another video on the final Elden Ring boss. My guy looks like something straight out of Elden Ring. Yo, he, he is Godric the Graf. <laughs> the sudden gasp as well when the pheromone maxa suddenly awoke. So if you do want to see more content like this, then please comment down below letting me know and also leave a like and that way I'll know that you're enjoying it. I mean, enjoying it, that's probably a poor choice of words. I mean, who enjoys looking at a man that literally smells like an a crack. So if you don't know who he is, I'm going to go through it quickly. He's basically a pheromone maxer on TikTok that believes if he doesn't shower, loads of ladies will cream over him. And pheromones are a thing that's more commonly known in animals, such as dogs and wolves. I keep saying the same sentence, but that's just what it says on Google. This man ain't a dog and he ain't no wolf. Although, he did want to try and bite women. So I don't know what that says about his, you know, his species, if you will. Biting at women is not misogynistic. I often see very pretty young ladies, or women that I might simp for online. I might see them, and I might go like a... <laughs> I mean, yeah, if I was in a school, and a bloke was standing at the end of it, and he was literally staring at me going, Hey ladies. I probably find that mildly terrifying, and possibly quite life-threatening. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm holding this sausage. I honestly just spawned there. I didn't even know how it got there. This man literally looks like he just spawned into the earth like a couple of minutes ago. So if we're spawning random objects at this point, I thought I'd conjure up the sausage. What do you reckon? Fucking sweet sausage. Mm. But honestly, Fluff Dumpster, I don't think any woman would find that hot or even remotely attractive. And if it does get you wet, then <laughs> please let us know in the comments. <laughs> the but should we be worried, ladies and gentlemen, about him chewing on women? Well... Put it this way, he put a video out talking about how he doesn't look like Jeffrey Dahmer, so... <laughs> in my opinion, we need to put a muzzle on this thing as quick as possible. Because I believe we are in danger as a society. But this man now has been pheromone maxing for like a really long time. I'm pretty sure it's been a month since he last showered. But a couple of weeks ago, he did talk about how someone apparently tried to bucket bath him. And I just want to say props to that person for having the balls to approach the beast in the first place. And he was really sad about that, ladies and gentlemen. But he's also probably the only person in this world, the first person to call themselves a victim of bathing. And she bucket bathed me. And my pheromones gone again this is this is like the first time that i've been having issues with my pheromone maxing journey mom i don't want to bathe i don't want to shower mom i like the smell of my cheesy ass but honestly, I don't know what goes through this man's mind. I mean, does he honestly believe that the smell of greasy sack is attractive? I mean, just look how dried up those lips are. I mean, that's criminal. But I will warn you, ladies and gentlemen, the clip we're about to watch next is pretty life-threatening. <laughs> Not for him, for us. <laughs> just witnessing it, you might actually die somehow. I don't know how, but you might. Although, arguably, it could be seen as motivational content. <laughs> motivational content to stay clean. Tongue is covered in death plaque. <laughs> Right, use your second warning. I'm just warning you, it's going to be bad, all right? You might feel the need to shower or brush your teeth after watching this, or perhaps even during watching this, and you have my full permission to do what you need to do to feel safe in your own home, okay? So let's have a look. Does anyone know why my tongue keeps doing that? It keeps turning white and flaking. <laughs> Well, at least now we have an exact geographical location of where hell is. It turns out it's been on the end of this man's tongue all along. It's not the usual fire and brimstone I was expecting. It's more of fungi and decay and rot. But still, it's a place that those go to suffer. Hello, oh boy. Does it get so much worse than this? If it helps, I haven't brushed my teeth in a few days. I don't, I don't usually, and I do not shower. I'm kind of worried because, you see that right there? It's completely numb and it's like my tongue is falling apart. Oh, falling apart this morning, somehow his tongue has managed to grow smeg on it. 
<laughs> no. Oh, I just don't feel well watching this. Uh, honestly, when I think about it, there's only one thing that could make me feel better right now, and it's pretty much next to impossible. But I wish I could like load him in to like The Sims and import his character and make him shower. <laughs> I would feel so satisfied after that, can we not agree? Although, there is one thing you can do for me, and that's subscribe to the channel. We're on 87,000 subscribers right now, and I'm trying to get to 100k by next month, so I can finally prove to my mum that I can succeed on YouTube. And we're really close, alright? We're very, very close. So whoever subscribes, I appreciate you guys so much. Turn on the bell notification and get excited for more uploads like this. Thanks guys, love you. Now, let's just carry on watching the origin story of how The Walking Dead actually started. This morning. It's all just like dead, dead, dead tissue on my tongue. I, I can't feel it. If you look really close, you can actually tell it's peeling back. That's what the big, that's what the big piece is. That. So, I don't know. I'll try to keep you guys informed. I won't go to a doctor unless it like starts to hurt really like more than it does. Anyways, peace. Good night. So yeah, his tongue is <laughs> is pretty bad. I think it's worse than bad. I think it's actually something out of a horror movie. And he's like confused on why it's like that. And then two seconds later, he says he hasn't brushed his teeth in a while. Oh, I wonder what it could be. And obviously at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that his scalp is starting to peel now, which I'm not sure what excuse he's going to give for that. Perhaps he hasn't washed his hair, but that couldn't be it, surely. It's just more of a, a a diabolical moment in history. But either way, I wonder what his role models are like. I mean, surely they must be normal people, and their son is just a weird freak. I mean, <laughs> maybe the parents aren't like the son. So let's see what his dad is like. I mean, I've already seen it. Those who saw my last video, we've already seen it. But for the new watchers, let's just have a look what his dad looks like. I mean, surely he's totally normal, right? Right, guys? <laughs> Pheromone Max's dad reveal. Don't mind the dog. Right, everybody, say hi to Isaac's dad. Holy shit! <laughs> Every time I see it, it cracks me up. I mean, the guy is living on a different cosmos. He's just an empty shell of a human being. I mean, look at the state on him. I don't think he even knows where he is. I mean, if we were to theorize, he's probably contracted some sort of brain cancer from his son not showering. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I haven't showered in about a month. Yeah, take these pheromones. Huh? <gasps> I mean, maybe he's always been like that. Who knows? Maybe he's got something wrong with him. And if that's the case, we shouldn't pork fun. <laughs> but I'm guessing this is all probably satire. I mean, I've already said that several times now. It is satire. It has to be. I'm guessing it is, all right? And I just want to say, Isaac, please notice me, friend. You're a genius. I like you. I actually like him. That's the thing. He also followed up with a TikTok where he was licking some dollar bills and that apparently we can taste his success. <laughs> Which, to be honest, the only thing I can taste is shit. Not sure how that works out, but, you know, I thought it was bad enough that I could smell him through the pixels on my screen, but it's now somehow made its way down to my taste buds. Omega males are in love with their money. As an Omega male, ladies, I love my money, and I am sure to get more money as an Omega male. You know, I'm not even scared of germs. Um, and I just imagine all the hot ladies, the hot single ladies, that have touched, that have touched this bill, and will touch it in the future. I mean, really? You just imagine all the ladies that's touched that dollar bill? Yeah, that's what he's hoping for. He's hoping some sexy women has touched it. When in reality, you know, it's probably lodged on a truck driver's ass crack or, you know, sitting in a homeless man's tent for about a week, but who cares? He's contracting every disease on earth. And you know, everything he's done up until now, you know, with this whole like hair going greasy, his lips drying up, his tongue literally decaying, him licking dollar bills, his scalp literally peeling. <laughs> 
I'm pretty sure this is just a stage of evolution right here. He's evolving. Before long, he'll just become a big green mist. Ah, lovely day at the office once again. Oh my god, what in the hell is that? Yeah, come on ladies, it's time for Netflix. But yeah, I feel like that is something that has a very strong possibility of happening in our current timeline. But in his newer TikToks, he's talking about how he's a vertophile. I think that's what he said, which I'm not entirely sure what that is, but we'll, we'll take a quick little look. Found absolutely nothing on it. Is he creating new words now? I mean, what's happening? I'm a furophile, mom. Furophile, he said. What is a furophile? Sounds like something to do with furries. Oh, God. I mean, all I've got here is a uh, furophyte, which is a layer of cat or dog hair that has built up over time. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to be honest, but let's just hope he gives us a correct definition of what he's talking about. I'm a furophile, mom. What? Uh, okay, so I've had these feelings and thoughts and desires. Feelings, thoughts, and desires? Oh boy, I really don't like where this is going. And I wanted to come out to you as a furophile who's sexually attracted to furries. What does that, does that mean? Are you, are you touching yourself what? to animals or something? What is that? Oh my, oh my. This needs to stop. This needs to end. Holy shit! How did his mom even confidently ask that? Are you touching yourself, Isaac, to animals? <laughs> and that's definitely not his mum, by the way. That's his, like, girlfriend or sister. And, you know, this is another thing. It's called yiffing mom. I... What does that mean? All, all the... Every fur does it, so... It's not... It's not wrong. I actually draw... Art for the furry community too, so it's not like a bad thing. Is he jerking off while talking about this or what? Holy shit! I mean, this screen is just going up and down like... <laughs> My guy is getting off right now while explaining to his mother that he's sexually attracted to furries. It's called Rule 34. Um, I, I think as a millennial, you should know what that means. And it's not like degrading material. It's like, there's like actual love between the creatures. That sounds really f***ing disgusting. I don't know why you feel like you need to tell me this. Mom, I've felt this way for a really long time. And this is the only way I can get it off my chest. Okay, is the to... cops gonna come here. I don't give a shit. No. I don't, we can't have the cops Mom, right if yet. it was illegal, I would have been arrested a very long time ago. Well, that aged like milk. No, I'm kidding. Didn't actually happen. I did it. I, I made I made that edit. Hope you guys appreciate that. He said it's the only way he can get it off his chest, but I think he was gonna say it's the only way he can get off. Is by watching animals have genuine love between each other. He needs a correctional officer. <laughs> That's what he needs. After the last time, Isaac, I'm... You're on thin ice, okay? We can't, we can't keep doing this shit. I don't care what you're doing, just don't... Mom. Can you please calm down? I'm trying to connect to you, Mom. Do I need to get your dad? Mom, you don't- you don't- my dad doesn't need to hear about this. I- I can tell him on my own time later. Sorry, what? <laughs> You're gonna get his dad involved? With that empty, useless carcass that sat on the sofa? I don't even think the bloke has the ability to speak. I think he's just a- a lifeless, inanimate object. <laughs> he's become part of the furniture at this point. Forget pheromone max, and this guy needs to life max. He needs to get genuine more experience on how to live your life as a human being. Because at this point, he he just isn't any of the things that you would deem as a human. I mean, just look at this thumbnail of this next TikTok. What is that? A cradle cap. Is that how you say that? A cradle cap? Or is there a cradle cap? Ooh. It's when all your skin dries up on your head and it starts to flake. <laughs> that's gonna be the that's gonna be the writing in the thumbnail. He's flaking. <laughs> Oh no, I've never flaked in my life. You know, only when I've got sunburn. But this man is literally flaking on his skull. That's how bad it is at this point. I mean, do we even dare click on this one? I mean, I've brought some anti-back wipes with me to make me feel a little bit more safe. But I don't know how much good that's gonna do. This man is too powerful for us. Okay, does anybody know how to treat cradle cap? Um, it's not something I've had to deal with for like 17 years, but Unfortunately, he's got cradle cap now. 
and I don't really know what to do about it. Um, if any moms can give me some advice. It's like, it's getting really flaky, and it's itchy, and it's oozing. Um, and we oh, oh really? Is, is it oozing? Oh yeah, I, I really needed to know that. Like, I, that's something that I feel so much better knowing that my guy's skull is oozing pus. I need y'all to break character. Yeah, agreed. I really need them to break character at this point. Just make one TikTok, just making a joke and like, haha, I got you guys pranked. But I just don't think it's gonna happen. I think there's just gonna be more Pheromone Max in videos and it's just gonna completely and utterly destroy our economy. <laughs> I mean, it's going that far that him alone will cause another recession. The stock market will collapse just because of this man. Take electronics away if you don't shower. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that will work, because there's nothing more wiser than pissing off a pheromone maxer. You'll probably just poison his mum with his fucking armpit stench. And then you'll have to spend the rest of your life covering your liquids when he's not around, just in case he gives a little, uh, into your morning coffee. Getting really flaky, and it's itchy, and it's oozing. Um, and we, you know, I've tried to help him scrape at it, but it, it hurts him. And so I didn't know if any moms had any advice for me. Ugh, well don't scrape it, what the fuck? What are you trying to do? God, you're trying to make him evolve faster? Stop! Um, this is my son. What are you doing? Oh my days, my guy is literally melting. Like, he's just, he's just a melting pot of filth. Thought it was bad before, but it's even worse now. I mean, my guy is completely radioactive right now. They need to, like, cover his house in one of those tents and just send a team of hazmat guys in there to sort him out. And then he goes on to talk some shit that we don't really care about, about some little pony stuff, while he's sat there, literally dripping with sweat. Just the level of grease that's building up is just... It's just criminal. It shouldn't be allowed. He should be arrested and forced to shower. You know what I mean? That's what should happen. He should be escorted to the shower block in a gym and literally stand there and just power wash the down. You know, get the hose pipe, get the fucking fire engine hose pipe and just hose it down completely until it's just, there's nothing left, you know? That's the only way to defeat this man. Uh, other than that, he's completely and utterly invincible. But the scalp peeling, I would have loved to see that. I would have loved to see the scalp peeling. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see more videos like this, comment down below. I feel so lightheaded right now because this is just too much. But check these other videos out. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. And subscribe. See you all in the next one.